All right, welcome everybody. We are going to try to complete our first code today in Robot C. Uh, on this robot coding growth chart, we're going to do this one down here called Turn On an LED. Uh, an LED is just a light, okay? So our, our LEDs are this little container. We have red, green, yellow lights. Uh, we're going to pick out any one that we want. Um, I'm feeling kind of like a red LED, so I'll choose a red light. We set this aside and we're going to plug it into the cortex. Okay, and I know it's going to be really hard to see this from the screen, but you're going to have a cortex in front of you that uh, hopefully this will make a little bit more sense. Okay, so on the sides of the cortex, there are some words. This one says motor. So when I'm plugging a motor in, I want to make sure that I plug it in the side of the cortex that says motor. Uh, the other side of the cortex, the top says digital. I'm sorry, the top says analog and the bottom says digital. And again, I know it's too small to see on there, but just look on the cortex that you have in front of you, and you're going to find the words analog and digital. Those are the two different kinds of switches we have. An LED happens to be a digital light. So we're going to take this LED. We're going to find the side that has little metal showing on it. That's going to be pointed down. And we're going to plug this into digital. Um, let's say right by the number 12. We'll plug it all the way down the bottom one. Okay, And it should fit in there. So there's our LED plugged into the cortex digital by the number 12. Okay, let me set that down and uh, let's see if we can do a little bit, bit of coding here to make that work. All right, so I'll take this down and then let's bring up Robot C. So remember it's Robot C 4.0. Find that on my desktop and I double click. It'll open up a little start page here for me. And I want to check my settings. Whenever you open up this program, check your settings. If you're in a different laptop as compared to the day before, it might not have your settings saved on here. So find the word robot at the very top. Go down to the word platform type. Make sure that it says VEX 2.0 Cortex. I have a little dot in front of it, so I'm good. If yours does not, please click on that. And then you would have to go to robot platform type. Make sure it says natural language PLTW. I have a check mark on my screen, so I'm good there. Lastly, go up here to VEX Cortex Communication Mode. It's a third item down under the word robot. And it should be USB only. We're going to connect the Cortex to our computer using a USB cord. All right. If those are good, last thing to do is slide over to the word view along the top toolbar. Go two thirds of the way down to the word preferences. And just make sure that there's no check mark in front of auto file save before compile, and there's no check mark in front of auto file save on application exit. If all those settings are, are good, you are ready to start coding. All right. How are we going to tell the computer that we've plugged something into the cortex? That's going to be our first step. So click on new file. You'll notice that the screen changes. And what was that big start page is now kind of my workspace. Okay. Task main is how I begin every program. It automatically is going to be on the screen. And then there's a couple curly brackets. Our coding needs to be done between these two curly brackets. I think of it as like covers on a book. Really, the good part of the book is between the covers. So the left curly bracket on line three is the front cover of my book. And the right curly bracket on line 7 is the back cover of my book. Everything that applies to my program has to be written between the brackets. If I end up adding some lines and I write code past that curly bracket on line 7, it's not going to be part of this story and it won't work as part of this program. Okay? So this is kind of where we're at. To tell the computer we have an LED plugged in, I'm going to go to the top, find the word motor and sensor setup, and click. You notice that there's tabs along the top. I don't know where yours may start off, probably here by standard models. There's one that says motors, there's one that says analog, and we want the one on the right, the tab that says VEX Cortex Digital Sensors. We plugged an LED into Digital 12. So under Digital 12, I'm going to use this drop down menu and click VEX LED. And then in the space, I'm going to type in the color of my LED. And I happen to pick a red LED, so 
read. I'm going to type in red. That looks good. Click apply and OK. Line one is now changed to say there's a sensor in digital port 12. You called it red. It is an LED. OK, good. All of our coding is going to be done under this command that says natural language. Don't worry about all these extra things. We have a short period of time to learn to code and we're going to keep it as simple as possible. So natural language it is. Click the plus sign in front of natural language. You'll notice there's a couple commands in here. This is how we are going to code. Uh, an LED is a special command. You're special people. So click this plus sign in front of the word special. You're going to notice it says turn flashlight off, flashlight on, digital LED off, then turn LED on. We're going to click and drag. Click turn LED on and drag it over your workspace and drop it in line 6. Okay. In between the parentheses, this is kind of where we tell it exactly those specifics of what did you title your LED? Where did you plug it in? Those sorts of things. So I can double click on this word digital port between those parentheses and all I have to type in is red. That's what I called it on the top. I just called it red. So turn LED on. Which one? The red one. Now I have to choose how long I want to wait until I turn that off. So in other words, how long is the light going to be on? That is found under the command called wait. So click the plus sign in front of wait. I can wait in regular seconds or milliseconds. A millisecond is a thousandth of a second. Um, I just want wait, wait time. Click and drag it under the next line under turn LED on. Notice that there's parentheses again. That means how long you want to wait. Double click wait time. Three. Three sounds like a good number of seconds to leave the light on. And then what do I want to have happen once three seconds have elapsed? That's back under my special command. I'm going to find turn LED off. Okay. Awesome. My first code says turn LED on, the red light, wait three seconds, turn LED off. Oh, I forgot to tell it which port. So double click digital port, type in red, and I'm good. Robot C has an error um, checking program built into it. It's called compile. So in the very top, I can click compile. And then if I have errors, they're going to appear down at the bottom of the screen. Since there's nothing in this little box at the bottom, it means my code is good. It understands everything. Okay, notice there's a semicolon at the end of every line. That kind of lets the computer know that I'm done with this line. It can move on to the next command or the next line. Okay, all right. Let's connect these two things, my Vex Cortex and my program, and see how it works. To do this, you are going to find some orange cords. They are up in the front of the room. The orange cords have USB connections on them. I need to do them in this order. I always need to plug the Cortex in first. The USB port on the Cortex is on the very top. So I'm going to plug that in. My Cortex is off. I take the other end of the orange cord and I plug it into one of the USB ports on your computer. At this point, some of the lights start shining, lighten up, all those sorts of things. That's fine. That's perfectly normal. It just means a connection has been made. Now, if I turn the off switch to on, I should have a couple lights light up. Okay. So far, so good. Let's see what happens. To switch this program from my computer to the Cortex, I'm going to click on this word that says download to robot. Okay. It's actively downloading. Everything's okay. I get this little screen to show up, and this is how I start it. Okay, I would click start to start my LED, and it should run for three seconds. Okay, start, and it's off. Can't do this at the same time. Start. Okay, what I notice on this screen is that when I press start, it automatically goes to line eight. That's the next line that's going to happen. So it goes and does line six right away. It waits. And then this is the next line that's going to happen. So let me minimize this to see if we can actually 
get both screens on there at the same time. Okay, so I'll hold this up best I can. There's our light, it's not on. I'm going to click start. Light goes on, two, three, off. You just wrote your first code. Pretty crazy. All right, hopefully this works for you. Good luck. Give it a shot.